back to another episode of the Microgreen Thumbcast. This is the go-to podcast for all things microgreens. I'm Mike with the Microgreen Business Coaching and Itty Bitty Micro Farm. And today we're diving deep into part three of our series, Dealing with Competitors and Blazing Your Own Trail. In case you missed the last week's episode, we focused on market research. Today we're going to focus on how we use market research for our competitors' analysis. And before we dive into the nitty gritty, let me introduce you to the man, the myth, the legend, the Sultan of Sprouts, the Mysterio of Microgreens, the guy who once grew arugula so good it made a chef cry. My co-host Andy. How's it going today, Andy? <laughs> good. Offering. Take a good look at what kind of microgreens your competitors are selling. Are they sticking to the basics like broccoli, kale, arugula, basil? Are they going exotic with sensorial coral, uh, so, uh, Swiss char, char, anything like that? You know, the exotic kind of stuff, all the messes. Just, um, <laughs> are, they, are they health trends? Are they riding that trend? Uh, keep an eye out for the quality. Are they keeping their quality up? Are they organic? Are they locally sourced? Or could they be selling points of weaknesses to exploit? Andy, is anyone in your area doing specifically hard grow varieties? That you're not? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Yeah. Uh, a lot of them are focusing more on like the direct to consumer or farmers market level uh, type things like that. And then Aero Farms, which we have in or some of our local yeah. stores. I'm not sure if they're still there or not, but uh, they they obviously do all the basic mixes and they're targeting yeah. general people. So for the most part, I'm sure there's probably people around here that are targeting restaurants that I just don't know about or haven't heard about yet. Uh, but for the most part, it seems like everybody around me is just doing like the basic stuff. So far, anyway. Yeah, for so far. Uh, and as long as longer they grow, they'll probably get into it. But you know, most, yeah. most are probably pretty new over there. So you know, as you grow in that area, and they know that it's available to sell, they're trying to come after you. So yep, uh, which is fine, that's right? Fine. Bring keeps it on. Close. <laughs> keeps us keep going too. Yeah, that's it. I, I tell people all the time: don't be afraid of competition because competition is going to make you realize where you really stand. Yeah. Doesn't matter how good or bad you think your product is. You know, if somebody comes along and beats you out, then Guess what? <laughs> it may not be as good as you think. I think it is. And it's hopefully like when you're watching your own kid play sports and you think your kid's <laughs> the best player on the team, they usually aren't. <laughs> usually are not. And even if they are the best player on their team, they're probably not the best player on against the next team. You know, yep. so there's always somebody better. 